Copperhead split a doubleheader today with the Cincinnati Steam. Now, game one, Kevin, Cincinnati showed why they're the top team in the league. They took advantage of mistakes by the Copperheads. Copperheads left a number of guys on base again, but then they responded in game two in a big, big way. They won 13 to zero, and it very well could have been the most complete game of the year. Oh, it was a fantastic game, just absolutely complete, like you said. And all of that starts with the starting pitching. What a phenomenal performance from starting pitcher Michael Mesta. He was lights out good, and we saw him in a relief role against Licking County. He looked extra good there, too, so it's nice to see him build off that performance. But also, the defense was very good, and the offense, obviously. They scored 13 runs, just a very complete effort, very good win for the Copperheads. After the ball game, Michael Mesta and head coach Chris Moore were very excited about the performance, and they hope they can build upon that in the games upcoming. I felt great. Um, I mean, that's the most pitches I've thrown since my senior year of high school. So I didn't exactly expect to do that, but it felt good and I just kept going. Uh, you know, I think the first game, losing that game kind of pissed us off a little bit. You know, this team, we beat them twice before. They're a great team. And I mean, it's just, I think it drives us to compete more against good teams. And I think we bounce back nicely. I mean, obviously, uh, as that was that was probably our best, you know, all around all around game of the year. So certainly, when guys play well, you know, you're 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 proud of their performance. Uh, you know, I think I think it starts off, you know, it starts off on the right foot with, you know, with Mike going out there and and, and uh, doing what he did, uh, throwing strikes with a couple different pitches, uh, and, and frankly making uh, you know, making his life easy by being ahead in the count and getting some easy outs. Uh, we put two runs up in the first inning. It was all kind of uh, all kind of gravy from there. So um, you know, uh, yeah, that, certainly. Certainly proud of what they did. With the split today, Southern Ohio goes to 19 and 15 so far in this regular season. They're fifth right now in the GLSCL standings, but there's a lot of room uh, for movement as the games progress here over the next week or so. Uh, the Copperheads will be back in action on Friday here at Bob Wren Stadium as they take on the Xenia Scouts. First pitch is at 7:30. So if you want to listen into uh, Kevin and I, uh, we'll be on the air at 7:15 on Power 105 in Athens or by going to copperheadbaseball.com and clicking on the home game link. Also, as I always seem to say, make sure you look into our other forms of media. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter page, at Go Copperheads, and most importantly, the YouTube account. Look for us uh, by searching Copperheads Baseball, and you can find all of the videos we're making, not only these recaps with our pretty faces, but everybody else with the team that is doing wonderful stuff. Uh, but with that being said, he's been Kevin Noonan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a recap of the Copperhead split with the Cincinnati Steam today.